I'm going to start with a cube and scale down this face to make this shape. Then I'm going to make a copy of the cube with Shift D. Now I am going to scale down the cube just a little bit. If you have a more complex object, you can use Alt S in edit mode to scale along the normals. Now hide the bigger cube so I can work only in the smaller cube. I'm going to delete these faces. Then I'm going to make some loop cuts to make the panels with Ctrl R. Now Alt Shift click to select them. Ctrl B to bevel, then X and delete the faces. Repeat the process, Ctrl R to make more cuts, Ctrl B to bevel and delete the faces. Now I need the solidify modifier and unhide the bigger cube. Now modify thickness, we need a negative value and we can enable even thickness, also only rim to prevent double faces. Now I can activate this button so I can see the geometry. For example, I can duplicate faces, then separate by pressing P. Now move the face. If we need, we can change from global to normal, so we can move the objects along the normals. With Ctrl Shift B, we can bevel vertices. We can also slide the vertices by pressing G twice. Now I can delete some faces to leave some empty spaces so I can add more details later. Now I'm going to add a bevel modifier, adjust the amount. Don't forget to apply the scale, Control A, scale, then add a weighted normal modifier to shade the smooth. Now I'm going to use the add tool so I can draw cubes or cylinders on the surface. The idea is to add more details and make it more interesting. With these hard surface parts, I'm just trying to create a new object. You can get this kit bash pack on my Gumroad. There's a free version of the pack. For texturing, I'm using a color ramp with two different colors connected to base color. Then I mixed an ambient occlusion node with the color ramp so I can add a little more shadows. It's important to set mix color to multiply. Then I used a hue saturation node so I can easily change the colors. Then a grunge texture mixed with the hue saturation node. Make sure to connect the grunge texture to factor in mix color. Set mix color to multiply. Then I used a color ramp to control it. I can also make it metallic and connect the grunge texture into roughness. Then use a color ramp to adjust roughness. If you want to use it with low poly models, you can bake a normal map and make trim sheets so you can use it for games and so on. I have a tutorial on how to bake normal maps in Blender using the add-on wrap doc. Okay, um, that is how I made the scene. Some modeling and kit bashing and that's it. I hope this helps. Thank you and thank you to my patrons, see you next time.